Hi guys, it's Max here with DartsReviews.tv in association with DartsPlanet.tv. We've got something a little bit different. Today we've got a little bit of a comparison to do with dart stems. Uh, obviously there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different styles, designs. Um, they come in different materials, everything like that. Uh, we're going to be comparing these four particular ones. We've got aluminium, polycarbonate, we've got some carbon, and we've got like the sabre points, which have got like a polycarbonate bottom and an aluminium top. We're going to give them a little bit of a comparison. So what we're going to do, head on over to the table and have a closer look. Okay, so we're over the board. We're going to compare some of these stems. We've got a carbon set here. We've got some of these like grip lock ones where it's like a plastic stem with a metal top. We've got the aluminium and we've got some polycarbonate. These are sort of like some of the most popular ones that most people use. So we're going to have a comparison. Obviously with the polycarbonate, these are possibly the cheaper of the option. Um, they're a hard like plastic feel. The tops are usually a little bit flimsy. They can break and everything like that. But obviously you can add things like the uh, O-rings and what have you and grip rings that hold the flights in, hold them nice and steady and gives it a bit of uh, extra strength as well. Come in a variety of different sizes from extra small or stubby all the way up to the long ones. Um, come in a variety of different colours, different designs as well, because you can get them with bubbles in, you can get them plain, you can get them like a rubbery sort of polycarbonate feel and everything like that. So there's a really good choice of these out there. Um, the aluminium stems, um, these are very sturdy, long lasting. Obviously, um, if you using them in your darts, I would advise getting the little rubber O-rings because metal on metal never seems to tighten properly and stay tightened. If you've got the little rubber O-rings, they do tighten and give a decent seal so they don't come loose all the time. But you do tend to find they have this hole in here where you can put your flight point and tighten it onto your dart. And the tops, like I said, as they're aluminium, they're long lasting. You do sometimes hit them, they bend, but you can sort of slightly bend them back so they last a bit longer. Again, they come in a variety of different sizes colors and designs um i personally advise these mainly for people that are sort of like starting out or when they're practicing they're sort of like getting through loads and loads of stems and stuff like that these sort of like really sort of like cut down the cost in that sense because they do last a while then you've got these sort of like grip lock ones here where you have like a polycarbonate base and then it's got like this aluminium top. Um, you can get them so they're either standard, where like this one where it doesn't twist, or you can get the ones that they'll spin around so you can get sort of like a bit of deflection on the flights when you're throwing. Again, lots of different sizes. They start sort of like extra short going up to like the sort of like medium. Sometimes you can get the long ones, but I haven't seen them that often um but again this offer offers a bit of sort of like both worlds you've got the cheapness because it's got some of the polycarbonate but you've got the aluminium top as well so it adds a bit more strength it really does grip on the flights and um, they don't tend to fall out when you knock them and what have you so yeah a really really good sort of like all-rounder stem there um if you want the sort of like robustness and um everything of the aluminium this really helps but it helps keep the cost down and you get some lovely color combinations like this is the black and the red and you can really mix and match the other ones we got here are carbon stems i do like carbon stems they're like a really long lasting like plastic polycarbonate sort of stem and um, these particular ones um come with these little rings as well so it'll hold your flights in better and add a bit more strength as well and um, the only downside i find with some of the carbon ones is sometimes if you do hit a hard floor or something with a bounce out it can snap on the edge of the barrel and because these are carbon they're not as easy to get out as the polycarbonate at least with the polycarbonate you can dig your dart in and twist it out or you can use like a stem remover tool and with these ones because they're so hard it it becomes troublesome trying to dig your dart in you've got to like fiddle about a bit more but they do last quite a decent while i've had a set lasted longer than the actual darts i kept um on the other hand i've had another set where the first bounce out it snapped at the top of the barrel and it took me a good five minutes to get the broken section out but yeah they're a really really good stem again they come in a variety of different designs and what have you this one's got this lovely sort of blue pattern on here um but they do tend to be this sort of color like a blackish sort of color um so 
take that into mind if you're looking at sort of like color choices um all in all they are a really good variety there's dozens and dozens and dozens if not thousands of different stem choices out there from the like i said the polycarbonate and carbon all the way up to the aluminium and the grip rocks and everything like this and the saber points but yeah hopefully um this gives you just a little bit more of an insight into what type of stems there are and their shortcomings and what they're handy for um definitely if you're looking for something that you're practicing all the time and getting through lots polycarbonate is most probably your best choice you can get them quite cheap variety of places even pubs themselves tend to stock these behind the bar if they've got a dartboard so they're always handy and the aluminium longer lasting really good if you're practicing and getting through a lot of stems normally um obviously they do add a bit more weight than some of the polycarbonate so bear that in mind it might adjust the flight the sabers offering the best of both sort of worlds you get a nice price point you get the extra strength with the like the flight section at the top and it's really good and grippy and then the carbon a nice long lasting good looking a variety of different sizes and offers you the strength possibly of aluminium with the robustness of the polycarbonate so hopefully that's okay but what we'll do is we'll go and have our final thought on that okay so we had a closer look at the stems and we had a bit of a comparison between them some of the pros and cons of each one so as i said before the aluminium i tend to advise more for sort of like beginners or if you're just using them at practice at home uh, they do add a bit of extra weight and obviously if you're in the middle of a dart match and you do accidentally bend it or snap it or something it's a little bit more fiddly to swap them out or bend it all back in the middle of a game that's why i tend to lean a little bit more towards like the carbon or the polycarbonate sort of thing because they're nice quick and easy just to whip them off put out the flight and put it back in and then away you go obviously the cons with those polycarbonate they do snap easy if they hit the floor obviously the bits that grip the flight snap easy as well but hopefully you enjoyed looking at the comparison between the stems if there's other things you want us to look at head on down to the comments if you agree or disagree with anything i said in that video make sure you leave a comment as well i do like your objective feedback it helps us improve the channel as well as always, make sure you tick subscribe and tick the notification bell. There's lots of reviews, videos like this as well coming up in the future that might pique your interest. And hopefully we see you all here again soon. Bye.